Hey again, B here. Do you ever daydream about where you might want to live when you grow up? Maybe you'd want to live in a cozy cabin where it snows in the winter and you can sip hot cocoa by the fire. Or maybe you dream of living in a place where the sun is always shining and the palm trees sway in the breeze. So, how do you find the right place for your dream home? Do you think it's just a matter of picking a spot on the map and checking the weather forecast? While the forecast can give you a glimpse of what's to come for the next few days, it won't help you know what the rest of the year will be like. That's where climate comes in, and it just might be the key to finding your dream home. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to identify major climate types found on Earth's surface and summarize typical weather patterns found in each climate type. Let's get started! Let's start by exploring how climate and weather are different. Firstly, think about how you would answer if someone asked you about the weather. You'd probably describe the weather outside today. Maybe it's warm and sunny, or cold and windy, or mild and rainy. But it's probably not always like that, right? That's because weather describes the state of the atmosphere at a certain place and a certain time. In other words, weather is temporary. Climate, on the other hand, describes the long-term weather patterns in a particular area. If you know the climate of a region, you can anticipate what general patterns the weather there will follow throughout the entire year. And that can help you figure out if it's the right place for your dream home. After all, you probably wouldn't want a beach house somewhere that's cold and snowy all year. So let's explore the Earth's main climate types and find the perfect one for your ski chalet, your tropical paradise, or anything in between. There are five main climate types, tropical, dry, temperate, continental, and polar. Each climate type has its own unique set of characteristics that affect the weather patterns found in that region. Let's start with the warmest climate type. Places with a tropical climate are found in the area right around the equator. If you're hoping for a beach house, this might be the zone for you. Tropical regions are characterized by hot temperatures and high humidity throughout the year. They also get lots of rainfall, which helps lots of plant and animal life flourish. The beaches of Hawaii and the Amazon rainforest both have a tropical climate. Just past the equator, in both directions, there are narrow bands of dry climate. These areas can have temperatures that vary a lot, but they all have low humidity. They also receive very little rainfall throughout the year. Since there is so little water, that means there also tends to be few plants or animals. At their most extreme, in places like deserts, dry climates aren't very hospitable to people either. So if you're thinking about living here, be sure to pack some sunscreen. The Sahara Desert and the southwestern U.S. are both found in dry climates. If we continue past the tropical and dry climates, we'll find temperate climates next. Temperate climates have four distinct seasons, where it tends to be cool in the winter and hot in the summer. They also have a moderate amount of rainfall, so there is lots of plant and animal life here. San Francisco, California, and London, England both have this climate type. If you like to get a mix of all four seasons without getting too cold, a temperate climate might be for you. Continental climates are found just past temperate climates. They are similar to temperate climates in that these regions experience four distinct seasons. But continental climates tend to have milder summers and harsher winters. Like temperate climates, 
Continental climates also get moderate rain and have lots of plant and animal life. If you don't mind snowy winters but still enjoy warm summers, you might want to live in a continental climate. Paris, France and Chicago, Illinois both have this climate type. The farther from the equator we go, the colder the climate gets, until we eventually hit the polar regions. Polar climates are found near both poles of the planet. They have extremely cold temperatures and get very little precipitation throughout the year. In fact, many places in polar regions are technically deserts, just with dry and cold weather instead of dry and hot. Not many plants and animals can live in these frigid places, but if you don't mind the cold, it might be the climate for you. Juneau, Alaska and Oslo, Norway both have a polar climate. So, which climate type do you think you live in now? Which do you think you might like to live in someday? Pause the video here and record your answer in your guided notes. Understanding the Earth's climates is important, not just for finding your dream home, but also for understanding the interconnected processes on Earth and in the atmosphere around it. Climate affects everything from the types of plants that can grow to the availability of water and other resources. And those factors, in turn, shape the surface of the Earth as we know it. So whether you're dreaming of a tropical paradise, a cozy mountain lodge, or something in between, the climate you'll be enjoying isn't just a matter of personal preference. It's also part of the intricate web of processes that make our planet such an incredible place. So let's review what we learned today. Now you know that climate describes the long-term weather patterns in a particular area that the five main climate types are tropical, dry, temperate, continental, and polar, and that each climate type has unique weather patterns that shape the surface of the Earth. In our next lesson, we'll take a closer look at the Earth's atmosphere to learn about why each climate type on Earth is so different. In the meantime, be sure to check out the extension activities and practice activities that go with this lesson. And remember, in Earth science, as in life, you rock! See you next time! Hey.